This is Amit Singh from University of Essex. In this three minutes, actually, I'm going to introduce our work that is about thermal and energy efficiency of heterogeneous mobile SOCs. In particular, I'm going to cover some current and upcoming trends that we have been witnessing. So as you can see, these days, the SOCs are becoming heterogeneous. So that means there are more and more types of cores integrated within a chip. And in our poster, we have included a figure of Otroid XC4 that contains Samsung Exynos 5422 SOC, where you can see there are three clusters of cores, cluster of big, little, and a GPU. And to meet performance, energy consumption, and thermal efficiency requirements, basically we follow the process of thread core mapping and DVFS. And this process, I will be just briefly demonstrating through the, our, through, through, through the poster. So here I have an, another figure that basically demonstrates the process where we have distributed everything in three layers, the application, OS and RTM, and the hardware layer. So in the hardware layer, you could see there are several hardware resources that support various voltage and frequency levels. And in the middle, OS and RTM label basically decides which are the cores that are going to be used for a particular application and at what voltage and frequency they will be running. So when you basically look the state of the art approaches, you will find that most of them use heavy offline computations. So basically that could, you can guess like it is not efficient for some applications that will be unknown at runtime. And also you will see like most of them do not perform adoptations. That means they are not changing the mapping and DVFS at application arrival and completion or when the performance varies. So what we have done basically, we have done a lot of work along the lines of adoptations. So you will see in the poster like we have several work on adopting DVFS where there's no reliance on profile data and many DVFS work where we have reliance on the profile data. Similarly, we have done a couple of works on adopting mapping and DVFS both with reliance on the profile data and without reliance on the profile data. And we have put some experimental setup where we have used a Droid XC3, XC4, Galaxy Note 9, Huawei P20 Lite, and currently we are also investigating Google Pixel 3. And there are some sample results. Here you will see our proposed approaches are performing better than the existing approaches. And then some upcoming trends. We feel like there will be hierarchical management for multi-cluster SOCs. There will be increasing application domains. There will be multi-objective optimizations. There will be secure and efficient interactions with cloud. And this will lead to HAI as well. And there are more details actually known of our survey paper. Feel free to look into that.